and we're okay. back. Uh, Skype issue seems to be resolved, so uh, let's get back to it. Uh, we pick up again with uh, you know our company of, uh, of mercenaries. I'm not even going to pretend you guys are heroes. In the last game, in, in um, Serious Fate, you guys were actually kind of heroic. In this one, not even remotely. Yeah. <laughs> no. We are the villains. You guys are you guys are ways. basically yeah. the ba- you're the baddies. Well, uh, we're one of the baddies. I, I mean, mean there's a whole there campaign about baddies. like horrible people. So you guys are you guys are the uh, the protagonist baddies. <laughs> but yeah, so you the uh, anti-hero baddies, the punishers, if you will, <laughs> yeah, the punishers. Um, we're the best squid. There is what? what we do. Oh God, um, we're 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 a, a, a we're a squad of of punisher babies. <laughs> your babies, they'll make your dreams come true. Okay, so anyway, uh, you guys are, are flying down to uh, this uh, this uh, uh, this you know uh, this this planet, which is, as I said before, a Earth-like planet with very large ice caps uh, and a lot of like lush foliage, a lot of lush uh, carnivorous uh, coniferous forest uh, for and the the planet is actually uh, one way different from an Earth-like planet is that it's not as wet. Like, it is wet. It's still got, you know, big oceans, but its oceans are far smaller than Earth's. Like, this is a, this is a very land-y planet, uh, but with heavy rainfall. Uh, okay. Like, there's a lot more groundwater and a lot more, uh, like, rivers and lakes than you'd get on Earth. Uh, okay. Well done. Um, so, uh, as you start uh, flying in, you come in near, uh, like, the equator, where... The like the populate the non Uluru population, which is very very small because it's basically an entirely Uluru planet, uh, resides, including the uh, medical center for that is uh, spearheading the operation to you know help cure this uh, the spreading pandemic. Uh, and I need to come up with name of this planet because I just realized that like I've literally like come up with names for all the major characters and I forgot to name the fucking planet. <laughs> <laughs> So um, you go down. To, Welcome to, to, to Planet Pinecone. Yeah, so I'm just gonna call it Pinecone Beta. Pine, Pinewood for now, and it's, that's not the actual name of the planet. That's just the code name that you've been given because I'll come up with a name later. So, so you fly down to uh, executing Operation Virtuous Pinecone. Oh so as you fly down to the, this uh, this medical facility, you actually notice something about it pretty much right off the bat, and that is that this place is not what you'd expect from a medical facility. This place looks like a, like a fortified city, uh, like a very small fortified city with like big walls with, you know, military, with like gun posts on the, uh, on the outsides, uh, like two main gates that are, uh, carefully monitored by, you know, ground forces. There are tanks, you know, like rolled up out, like along the perimeter, you know, doing slow loops and there are like inside the city there while well, there are like tents and medical pavilions and like permanent stru- like permanent structures set up all over the place tending to the sick and wounded there are also like squads of blue clad uh Aluru and Chirons marching through the streets uh like clearly on high alert mm. Uh, you are you are fl- you are like waved into a uh, a location near the center of the city where they have a spaceport set up where all sorts of ships are uh, are set. Up. You notice that most of the ships here are in the same style as the one as the battleship you saw originally with uh, blue paint, big white skull logos, and a very knife like uh, aesthetic design. Uh, but there's also some like. Uh, there's also a lot of ships that are clearly like local, like you know, Luru craft, uh, simple civilian landing vessels, and a lot of mercenary craft. And you get the feeling that like you're not the only mercenary company who's doing a job on this planet. Yeah, makes yeah. sense. Looks like we're considering not the bustle upstairs, probably not. Yeah. Uh, and as you land, actually, you notice uh, there's this big hulking landing craft with like thick you know, metal sides. Uh, and this, uh, like it's painted all, all a burnt red color. Uh, and you, you don't, uh, actually all of y'all roll me a knowledge check. Uh, okay. I do have that. Didn't have to do my D six. Well, that's a great way to start it. Like, the three get... and one on the rolls, so seven. Seven, okay, yeah. yeah. Fifteen. It's a big truck. 
Um, you got 15 total? Yeah. It looks really familiar, but you're not 100% sure if you know what it is. Yeah, makes sense. Um, Kip? Um, yeah, that's 14. Literally as good as I could roll, and that's a 14. <laughs> you don't know what it is. You, you, you're, um... Uh, actually, oh, yeah. can I consult the war book on uh, my craft and see if it's got anything on there? Yes, you can. Uh, but first, let me quickly roll for Winifred um, and uh, more Uh She so the, the the admiral got a twenty one. Okay, oh. admiral got twenty one. Uh, yeah. You might actually. Okay, here's the thing. So, um, you will probably get a little bit out of this, but just due to the fact, like the fact of what your character is, you're not going to have as much knowledge on this as uh, as someone else might. Like, like I get technical specs and stuff like that, as opposed yeah. to like actual origins and shit. Exactly. So, so what <laughs> yeah. you pick up on from this is that this is a large military craft of uh, like that. It clearly has some Federation design inspirations. Like, it probably was built out of a Federation ship, but has been you know mo heavily modified. Uh, it is, you know, it has heavy weapons on it. Uh, but it looks like it's actually primarily a landing vehicle, and based on the size and the like, you know, like way it's designed, it's probably a landing vehicle designed to carry either like light tanks or you know like super heavy armor uh, shock troops. Huh. Modified landing vehicle. Uh, do, do, is it, it, it? Does it look like the base chassis was like? From my from shortly yes. after or during my time. Okay. Yes, uh, specifically probably from your time. So it's this is almost certainly owned by either scavs or someone else who does a lot of scavenging, because they clearly use like base model hello? stuff. Uh, right hello. Uh, oh no. Hello. <sighs> sorry, sorry. I can still hear you, but you cannot. You're still me. on the call. Okay, I'm just going to. I could hear you. Uh, but so uh, the uh, the ship that they're seeing is a very large, heavy landing vehicle. I'm gonna see if I can rejoin the call real quick without it fucking up continuously. Unfortunately, my internet. Oh, my internet is just completely gone. So uh, please hold tight, people. We're gonna be right back as soon as I get the thing worked out, and uh, I'll edit these two parts together. So hold tight. I know you are. And we're back. Heard Sorry me about that. Hold on. We're right. We're right back. Here. We're gonna keep going. Uh, the internet. My internet has currently been suffering from a bit of a. Huge problem for the last couple of uh, weeks, but uh, hopefully we're going to keep going and it'll be fine. So, um, anyway, where we left off, we were just saying, uh, talking about the heavily armored uh, ship, mm -hmm. um, and we are, yeah. yeah, we pick up basically right after that as you uh, as you start walking uh, towards the main building where you've been told to meet up with your uh, uh, with the people who are kind of leading this whole thing. Uh, by the way, did you? Uh did uh, it show up in the war book for the craft? Oh, sorry, right. Uh, the craft, yes. The Well, at least the base elements of the craft. So what you kind of get is, because you didn't roll as well as, uh, as Morath did, uh, you don't get as much about it, but you basically get that this is based on a Federation ship. Uh, the, like, the, like the, there are enough design elements there that you pick up that it definitely is like has parts from at least a couple of different Fed ships. And you don't know which is the base, but it's either one of the light landing crafts, heavy landing crafts, or a fighter, because all three have elements in there. Okay. Um, like again, like if you talk to if you talk to uh, the admiral, he can tell you exactly which one it is. But um, that's what you get personally. Okay. Uh, but yeah, as you uh, you you walk into the uh, into the the main. Uh, Building and you you basically get like stopped and searched as soon as you uh, as soon as you approach it, and you actually like you've been given uh, like clearance documents uh, to you know get you through all this. So they they let you through, but like you get frisked at least two more times as you make your way through the building to the actual uh, like place where the uh, you know like the head of uh, the of operations is. What are they gonna frisk us for? Guns? We have guns. <laughs> True. They actually seem. Uh, do any of you carry grenades? Yes. Okay. So they are going to ask you to let to hold to like hold the grenades for now. For I'll like, let, they, they want to hold pin. your grenades. Like, they don't want you walking in with explosives. I'll let you hold a pin. <laughs> Uh, okay, so yeah, like basically they actually stop you there. Then they they you get stopped as you uh, as you go through, and basically they're like, no, we're going to need the 
No explosives beyond this point. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the belt, throw it at them, and then throw an extra pin that I keep for this sort of thing at them and walk in. <laughs> Roll for initiative! <laughs> oh, God. oh, God, no. And this should all have one to. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, like, you don't have to engage, but, like, everybody roll for initiative because they're going to attack you. Like, you threw grenades at them and then you threw a pin at them. They're, they think you're attacking them and they're on high alert. Uh, <laughs> what was the initiative roll again? Uh, uh, 1d10 plus agility or, or whatever. Hand eye. Uh, yeah, yeah, whichever is the highest. Uh, hand eye initiative or uh, brain. No, no, it, it's or, uh, hand eye. Nice. Hand eye senses or agility. Yeah. So I need to open up the page for the uh, the Uluru uh, troops because I wasn't expecting you guys to fight them, but um, I didn't not, not now, but uh, didn't expect that shit either. So yeah, um, roll. This could be a very short campaign. Oh, nice. I got a ten <laughs> on that one, and then I add my thing, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh wait, I have lightning fast, by the way. Uh, okay, in that case, you will you will act before anyone yeah. else does. So I, I have sixteen, and I also have lightning fast. Okay, so, right, so right down basically, the good roll was not necessary well, whatsoever. Yeah, like, yeah, like um, well, here's the thing: you still roll initiative, and that'll be your order after the first turn. But everyone with lightning reflexes gets a full turn to act before anyone else does. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, yeah, so like basically, you'll have an opportunity to do something to defuse. Okay, so yeah, you have the opportunity to try and defuse the situation, but like, it's gonna be tricky. Okay, well, what I'm gonna immediately do is I'm gonna use a grapple to hold, uh, to hold, uh, Kid's character. Okay. And then basically shout, "Got him under control." Okay. Um. So uh, yeah, roll, roll, um, roll, roll grapple. And then if you want to resist that, can No, he's not going to resist it. Okay, in that case, don't bother rolling grapple. So you, basically, you grab him and, like, pin him. And uh, because you have him pinned now, the um, the guards... Um, God damn it. The guards, like, you know, like... Uh, like, the guards uh, have uh, big electrified spears. And they, like, poke them right underneath his thing. But they don't, they don't actually stab him. Uh, but like now, there's these these arcing electric spear tips, like right in front, like right in front of your uh, your face. Okay, uh, going to just look up and go. You have the grenade, you have the pin, and there's been no explosions. I do not understand what you have a problem about. They uh, they they like they they basically stand there like stiff as a board, not responding uh, until like the uh, the like. The, the the very very pale uh, guard who caught the grenades like checks them over and confirms that there aren't any pins pulled. At which point uh, the <laughs> command like the uh, the officer in charge, you know, like like makes a hand signal and the the guards slowly back off. <laughs> and uh, the the lead the leader uh, this grizzled woman with an eye patch and uh, like part of her fur burnt off. You know, walks over and says, "Don't try that shit again, or next time we're gonna scrap you, joke or not." You wanted explosives. She, like, gestures for the rest of them. Check the rest of them. They, uh, they, they pat you all down. Does anyone else have grenades? No. No. Nope. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, they let you pass, but like, they, like instead of just letting you pass normally, they they send an escort with you this time. Good um, job. And they uh, they you know they they lead you through a few more checkpoints before eventually depositing you at the uh, in front of the uh, the main uh, cavity office. search. <laughs> yeah, they they like they dig deep. The cavity deep. search robots. Well, actually, that's the thing. That's the thing. They they actually do like uh, for those of you uh, like the robots and the people in uh, suits. They they actually basically yeah. like open up your chassis and just like look around to make sure there's not like bombs strapped inside of your bodies. And for the organics, they like, which is at this point basically just Winifred. Uh, they what? actually like what? I'm also technically organic. Oh, true, true. Well, I mean, like they. Okay, here's the thing. They don't expect you to have, like, a bomb inside of your uh, inside of your rig Titus body, but, like... <laughs> that's where you're wrong! <laughs> yeah, that, that's, their, that's their mistake. That's, the, that's what gets them. Uh, but, but for uh, for Winifred, actually, like, specifically with Winifred, because, uh, like, even though she's a Red Aluru, 
they uh, they actually like take this essentially like this wand and run it over her body looking for implanted explosives. Nice. Like and uh, after they nice. they check you all is clear they they let you through and uh, you're led into a room where a uh, like a, a Chiron uh, woman is is you know she's not really sitting behind the desk as much as she's like standing up and just looking over this fucking mess of paperwork uh, like smoking a pipe and you see that there's like ash like she has an overflowing ashtray and a bag. Like this large bag of uh, pipe weed, uh, you know, like on her side, and is just f- like chain smoking this pipe. As you enter, she she looks up at you and says, "Oh, you're uh, you're here. Good, good. You're the uh, you're the mercenary. It's the brass scent." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Uh, you're looking for uh, Doctor Weiss, yes? Weiss. No one can remember her name. <laughs> Yes. Poor girl, but yes. From what I understand, yes. that is in fact the case. Good, good. You're, uh, we, uh, we need someone to go looking for her. Yeah, so you'll be needing to know her last known coordinates, right? Yes. It would be beneficial in the search. Okay, so here's what we know. She, she pulls open this big map of the area. Right here, this village. Uh, this is the last place we uh, had contact with her. Uh, after this, uh, communication went dead. And, and in fact, that actually was a, around the time that Atlas first showed up on the planet. They showed up here. She points to another village. This is about three villages back from where she was, uh, from where she'd last been. We went out to contact the people in this village, and unfortunately, well, Atlas didn't leave a lot of survivors. We didn't know exactly what they were up to at this point, so we didn't realize they were going to be hitting here. She points to the next village. Next. By the time we uh, figured out their pattern, they'd already hit a third village here. Uh, the next village that Atlas is almost certainly going to hit is actually the very one that uh, you know she was last seen at. So if you, if you want to find Dr. Weiss, you're going to need to get there before Atlas does. Well, I guess we'd better head out sooner rather than later. Uh, yes. Just one question before we do go. Do you... Is is there a smoking restriction near the medical tent? Uh, yeah, it's... You know, we're not supposed to be smoking anywhere, anywhere near any of the medical tents. Okay, good. Because it is not beneficial, especially for recovering organics, to be exposed to secondhand smoke. She, she, she and then he just... Yeah, deep breath and, like, lets out a cloud of, of like... Blackish smoke. It says, "Yeah, I don't know. That stuff will kill you." <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he says this in reference to he's not. He doesn't. Wa- he doesn't like care that she's smoking, but definitely doesn't ar- want it around the patients. Yeah, yeah. No, like, she, yeah. she's like, "Yeah, no, that stuff's terrible. Don't allow it near any of the patients." We're, we run a very clean ship around here. And you, you said that there was a bunch of ash on the desk, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's like an ash pit that's completely overflowing and like, there's like a couple of pages that have been like obviously like started to smolder and been stamped out before they could like light the rest of the table on fire. <laughs> Koenig just shakes his head again with that screeching sound and they called me a fire hazard. Well, you do tend to, you do tend to antagonize the organics. You, you look out the uh, out of the door and there's like double the security division that you know, <laughs> is now waiting for you to come back out again. They okay, so hey, we I, are I don't know threat. if any of you know this, but uh, Koenig is in German king. Koenig yeah. just goes, a king should have an honor guard. <laughs> uh, the doctor says, listen, uh, something you, you ought to know about Dr. Weiss. Uh, well, I don't know if they told you this on the on the ship, but while she's in charge of the uh, operations down here, she's she's not, you know, she's not helpless. Uh, she has a military escort with her, and she's well, we got her on loan from the uh, from the actual uh, from the military forces. So, mm-hmm. you know, I wouldn't be too worried about her, you know, just getting caught off guard and and totally smoked out. But yeah, these Atlas people, they're 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 bad news. They'll probably uh, overrun her. 
yeah, numbers. They, yeah, strategies. if they catch up with her, it's going to be a fight. A fight she'll probably lose, but uh, you know, just just be like one, be aware that she's she's tougher than she looks, and two, be careful when you first approach her because if uh, if you come looking a little too uh, aggressive, uh, well. Well, she can defend herself, and she might feel like she needs to if uh, if you catch my drift. Um, to that end, could I perhaps get a somebody to um, alter the painting of my armor to do not make have it look- time for the. Uh, it's a it's yeah. actually a pretty quick thing. Yeah, like you, you just spray paint it yeah, white we, we and then with a pra- red cross yeah, some, in the some, center. Some paint cans. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, right, yeah, she actually like, yeah, like, she like, like, looks over and sees the scoring guards. Like, hey, one of you go and get some blue spray paint, bo- paint bottles, eh? Yeah. The you know troop nods and like hurries off and comes back holding a big can of can of paint. All right, I because I don't want to um, alarm them. Yeah, no, um, <laughs> it's probably a good idea. Yeah, that uh, colors you're wearing right there. That's uh, that's not going to go down well. Especially not with a I'm, bloody paw. I uh, am not exactly sure exactly why, but I am learning. But I am trying to reacclimate myself to modern day organics. Just trust us on this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a, um, uh, Conan puts a hand happened. up as if to whisper, and then full volume points over at uh, Harvey and goes, "Brass hat." Right. Well, uh, you uh, you all should be getting on your way. I uh, don't want to hold you up much longer than I need to, especially if uh, Doctor Weiss's uh, Weiss's uh, life is on the line. She's uh, well, she's uh, her survival is pretty important to the survival of this planet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, we're uh, on the timer, so let's yeah. get your painting. Let's get going quickly. Way. I can do my painting on the way. No, you can't. Not on the ship, and you're not sitting on a seat. <laughs> not till you dry. I don't need to sit. Uh, exactly, and you won't. W- w- Winifred uh, looks around and says, uh, "You know, I could probably paint you up, boss, as soon as we arrive. Just uh, you know, uh, it's like once we get there, we'll I'll just paint you up while they go in the village, and we'll be we'll catch up right quick." Sounds good. Or the the uh, the the head of the. Uh, hospital it's like so uh yeah good luck good hunting get the fuck out of my office <laughs> we do not need luck but we will get the fuck out of your office yeah. <laughs> it's just on fire <laughs> yeah as, as, as you go a little, a little flame oh, like pops up on her desk and just stamps it out real quick <laughs> <laughs> uh so yeah you guys uh you all head out and uh, as as you walk out you see um uh, like, as, as you're walking out, you actually hear an explosion, and uh, a number of the guards who have been out front, like, rush off uh, to check on it, uh, and soon after, you hear the sounds of uh, fire fight, like, a firefight, like, people shooting, and uh, one of the guards, like, as you as you're leaving the building, fucking Jesus Christ, what now? Um, Ugh, scripted leaving, events. The fucking... <laughs> Phone starts ringing, uh, and the uh, and the you, codex starts ringing, you guys. And you um and like one of the guards gives you uh, your grenades back. Excellent. Should we provide assistance as we leave, or the, should uh, we just go? If they're in the way of our craft, yes. If not, we're not being paid for this part. Yeah, you are right. It, it seems to be going on deeper in the city, like you in the in the compound. All so, right. Yep. Uh, we're gonna get immediately yeah. on that helicopter. Then let's get out. Yeah. So you, you head over to your, where your ship is parked, and like the uh, they've already like rolled your uh, your chopper out. Uh, and you actually see uh, Tack in the back, still working on the on the ears. Uh, and he wa- he waves at you, but kind of like like when you try and say anything to him, he's like mm, like waves a hand, like no 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 don't 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 bother. Busy. No, that's not how they would say it. No, do not bother. Oh no, he's not actually saying anything. He's like just waving and giving you hand signals, and being like, "No, don't bo- don't bother me." And he points to his ears, where he, like uh, he's got like little buds in, like gives you a hand sign, like I'm listening to what she hears to work on the ears. Test. 
sit down in pilot seat. How hard could ears be? Everyone get in. You'd be some. surprised. The, uh, the, 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 the craft kind of weighs down a little bit as the giant robots all <laughs> pile in. Uh, by the way, I take the heavy pulse rifle off my back and slot it into the floor of the cockpit where the uh, armored weapon mount is. Is there, oh, is there a little sign that says the weight limit on there? Uh, <laughs> yes, and it's been, like, scratched out and, like, written in with a new number. And you actually notice, like, <laughs> the wings have been reinforced in order to give it more lift. Yeah, this thing <laughs> used to have rotor blades. It now has, like, actual fucking turbines. <laughs> Good. Yeah. <laughs> like, for anyone who's played XCOM 2, this basically looks like the Firebrand now. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, but, so, yeah, you uh... can see uh, so, uh, d- 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 what's the name of your character, Winter? CJ. So, uh, CJ. Mm-hmm. And this is while we're taking off. Yeah. So, uh, CJ, why do you, you know, points at all of that robot part? Because flesh is worse than metal. So, more metal, the better. Over the craft intercom, what a refreshing opinion from an organic. God, no. I'm glad you agree. Or- organic flesh does have its upsides. However, with routine maintenance and uh, pr- uh, and and stuff like that, a metal body can subsist far longer than that of an organic one. Though an organic one needs less maintenance overall during the during its tenure. I would prefer to live longer than easier. I no. agree. Why don't you just inject yourself with nanomachines anyways? Or, you know, even better, go full abomination. And uh, this is referring to the mechanical abomination, sir. Yeah, I figure. Uh, well, to, to I, you probably wouldn't refer to it as an abomination. That's more okay, of a term used yeah. by people who don't, th- who don't like them. Yeah. Like you'd what, be what like, why not just go full, like full blown like ro- like machine? Yeah, why not just go full blown machine? As was stated before, the flesh does have some upsides. It's mean. It's yeah. I I still like to have a little bit of my humanity. I don't care too much for it, but it sounds like a coward. <laughs> You're probably right. Uh, What's taking so long with the? With the oh, you start taking off. Ship. Like, oh yeah, yeah. we're going. <laughs> it took a little bit for the yeah. the the, yeah, like, the turbines to spin fast enough. Yeah, but like it it starts going and like it, it's got a kind of a mechanical whine as it uh, as it tries to lift all this weight. Um, but uh, yeah, as you, as you start flying, like you start playing, like 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 some like heavy music starts to play as you uh, fly through the uh, the uh, the air, and you're going over like this planet is fucking misty as shit. Like you can't see the ground from uh, like up in the air a lot of the time. Are we playing old like '50s style rock and roll, or are you're, we going to be playing jazz? You're 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 blasting Long Tall Sally, basically. Um, I will accept this. Blue. Like not not really, but like you're you're playing like yeah. some like seventies era like uh like <laughs> Well no um, no I don't remember the music Big, is, Big Z uh, is primarily the place where it's like got that super fifties aesthetic, uh, with like yeah. the music. Like well, out, out out here there's a little bit more kind of it's a little bit more varied. Um but yeah, you like got like this uh this like uh like this very kind of classic uh like old school uh like yeah, music playing on like rock music playing on as uh, as you fly over the treetops, uh, and uh, like the mist is swirling up in big eddies around your uh, around your ship, uh, and uh, like as you go, like the tops of the pine trees like scrape against the bottom of your hull because you have to kind of stay low so you have any sort of visibility of the ground. Okay, I'm going to uh, turn on some train following radar here. Okay, uh, yeah, you get like. Uh, you actually kind of get like it's, it's very like uh, like you get like essentially a wire map of the of the ground as you fly along all of them like bright green lines, uh, and you're like represented by this little square <laughs> like flying on the uh, the treetops. Um, I'm a robot. 
works. <laughs> yeah, and as you go, you uh, you see um, uh, you see uh, like coming up uh, like around you, you're now flying along a uh, river bank, uh, and ahead of you, you see uh, like the outline of a like a village, uh, like lots of buildings and things, and there's also distressingly a large heat signature coming from it. Like a lot, oh dear. Of, lot of lot of heat, like a lot of high heat signatures. That looks like fire. All right, lock and load. There's a little spin of the gun and looks down the side, getting ready. Okay. Pulls out giant fucking samurai. <laughs> yeah, 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 like, <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up uh, like the troop compartment area, is so they can shoot out, and we're going to do an orbit around to get an idea of what's going on. Uh, yeah, as as you do, you actually see like the the mist clears as a roaring inferno. Yeah, you, know, you kind of start coming into, like the the like like the remains of like this big inferno. Like there's most of the buildings have been burnt out, uh, but a few still standing are like sending like columns of black smoke and flame into the sky. Oh my God. Uh, you know, like locals on the ground floor are like running around trying to fight the fires and pulling bodies and badly burnt uh you know people out into uh out by the riverbed where the smoke and fire isn't so bad uh but it looks like the casualty rate here is pretty fucking high uh like as you uh, as you circle uh you know there's a lot of shouts and cries of dismay but there's not a lot of like like you, you'd expect, you'd almost expect people to start taking pot shots at you, but it seems like no one's left in the village who actually can do so. Okay, uh, so we're not taking ground fire whatsoever. Not taking any ground fire. All right, we'll go ahead and land over by the casualty collection point. Yeah, as you as you come down near it, you actually see that there's a number of people in uh, like the the burnt out remains of blue suits, and scattered around the ground are burnt and burnt, blackened and twisted, you know, uh, weapons, uh, primarily firearms. Mm. Uh, it looks like awesome. the, uh, like the, uh, the ground forces here actually probably sent people to protect this village knowing an attack was coming, but it just wasn't enough. Hostiles may have left. They may be hiding within the wreckage. Yeah. Unlikely that with, the, with temperatures that high, their flesh would be seared from them if they are human. But they, Winifred. Are obviously wearing fireproof suits. Uh, Win- Winifred looks physically ill as uh, as you go and kind of holds back a little bit. Uh, let's let, let us ask some of the survivors what's going on. Uh, maybe also lend lend medical assistance where I can. You need to get painted first. Yeah, Fair let's, enough. let's get you painted up, boss. We'll, uh, we'll 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 go and help the people in just a second. Uh, as you uh, and as you kind of like hop as you land, um, a, uh, a hesitant looking, uh, you know, older Aluru. Uh, like it's kind of hard to tell with a white Aluru, but like there is clear like white fur. Like there's there's the normal white fur, and then there's kind of like this scraggly, you know, like dying white fur mixed in his uh, in his coat. Uh, and as he as he comes out to you, like he he waves his hand, and uh, you know shouts like, "Who who are you?" New security detail for Doctor Vice. Vice Where'd is she gone. Go? She Which left. Way? Down Which river. Way? Down river. Down river. You're too late. The invaders already attacked. They took out all the security people you sent before. We Which didn't send them before. They went the same way. Down the Obviously. river. They he he points at the blue at like the some of the booster uh, suited people. They made them talk, told them what they could about Dr. Weiss's location. What else do you know about it if they you gave them any other information? He he shakes his head. Everyone who talked is dead now. I don't know the details. I just know they know th- that they followed her down river. Okay. Um, as he says that, at uh, Koenig is going to go look over. Do you have any other pertinent information? What do you want to know? 
He, he, he looks like he looks scared to to death of you guys at this point. Actually, numbers of the attackers, tactics, weapons. It, it was hard to tell. They came out of nowhere, dropped in from the sky. A ship like yours. There's two of them. They came down and hit us from both sides. Burnt out the village, gathered everyone in the center, and started pulling out anyone who, you know, they thought anyone in a uniform they burned to death, and then anyone else they tortured for information until they were sure they knew where Weiss had gone. Any outbreaks of the plague here? Yes, that was why Dr. Weiss was here in the first place. Uh, he he yes. points to the he actually points to the pile of corpses. Everyone she treated, they burned to death. <clears throat> No one else is left in the village who was infected. They, they killed them all. Mm. Even the Are ones who were recovering. Do we have anything on uh, in like our briefing materials about what the plague is? Uh, yeah, you got like some details about it. Uh, it's, uh, it is a viral infection. Uh, it is airborne. Uh, it, it is uh, it is an airborne infection. That is, uh, that it spreads uh, rapidly through the population. Uh, it is treatable, like it's a treatable uh, thing with, uh, like it's like the the uh, symptoms are treatable, and there's a, at least a decent recovery rate. That's uh, Dr. Weiss has been managing to find a way, of basically getting the survival rate up to about eighty percent, down from almost ten percent. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, pretty much the uh, like the only real like uh, you know like uh, silver lining is that. It only uh, affects about sixty percent of the population. So, uh, the only re- like otherwise, this would pretty much be an apocalyptic plague. Mm, yeah, um, like the uh, like it seems to mostly be affecting Luru, which is uh, why you know it's relatively like safe for like a lot of the, the currents and stuff. But uh, like not like Luru who are on the ground, including uh, uh, Winifred, uh, have to wear gas masks in order to uh, prevent pr- uh, possible infection. Okay. Uh, Which her helmet has. Yeah, her, her helmet's know. got a, a gas mask attachment just to keep her nice and safe. Yeah. Uh, it hasn't so far jumped the species gap, but they are very worried about that happening since if it does, it could, you know, it could be a really fucking bad deal. Mm-hmm. Uh, Reds pick it up too, not just whites, yes. Yes, it, it uh, doesn't. It, it spreads because white and red luru are genetically almost identical. Like there's, like it yeah. really is basically a pigmentation difference. Okay. Um, you know, it's a, it's an extreme pigmentation difference, but it's basically like it's it's sort of like how uh, an albino, you know, person and someone from like South Africa are still humans. They're both right, exactly gotcha. the same yeah. people. Yeah. Okay. Um, two minutes to paint, and then we fly. Was then was one of the two people wearing major, a lot of purple? Uh, yes, the the leader. He uh, he's the one who was conducting the interrogations. There was also a woman with him. She wasn't involved in the interrogations, but she did check the bodies before they burnt them. Describes from Rose. Yeah, uh, it's like yeah, and he describes her and uh, like tells you what uh, her name was, and that's uh, Primrose. All right, so our VIPs are. Among the squad, yes, we don't like. Uh, he 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 kind of thinks about it. And says the thing about that uh, the leader, the man with the golden horns. Mm-hmm. He uh, he seemed detached. It was like he wasn't even here. The the mercenaries with him, the 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 black ones, the ones with the black armor, mm-hmm. and they were uh, they were shouting orders. You know, driving people around, you know, flanking out, doing all this. He just walked straight in, burnt anyone wearing a blue uniform, took a hail of gunfire and didn't even flinch, and then just burnt them all alive. I don't think he's human. I think he's. I think he's a machine. Or. Well, close <laughs> enough. Uh, he's another cyborg. <sighs> You, you notice that uh, as he claims that uh, the that they were a machine, um, the admiral kind of like clenches his fist, like in not like like repeatedly, not in like a like he doesn't exactly understand the emotion he's feeling. Yeah, 
Uh, but he, he's looking confused at that. Yeah. Uh, and they, uh, they actually, like, one thing they actually say is that, like, they also tell you is uh, one, one other detail. It's like you weren't told in the briefing, but apparently uh, the woman, uh, you know, Primrose, was wearing a, uh, like, had on her medical smock, uh, mm-hmm. had a Federation icon. Like, I'm busy icon. right now. Uh, and, uh, like, like she she didn't look like she was wearing Atlas colors, but she had a Federation uh, like patch, and uh, like they were like they they took note of that, and like you are now uh, the Admiral is now painted blue, so he, he like they don't recognize they don't like immediately go like hey Federation, uh, but like yeah they're like yeah it's like it was strange like I, that logo I've seen it in the history books I've seen it in the in the in the in the movies, but I've, I've never seen it in real life. No one would ever dare wear that out here, but but she was. Hmm. Cough, cough. Um, <laughs> 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 Understood. Uh, I was not aware that the Federation and Atlas were a conjoined entity. I I didn't really like. I don't know that much about Atlas. They, I mean, I've heard of them. They rumors mostly, but. If they're working with the Federation, maybe it's a prelude to an invasion? A second invasion? That would make for a lot of work. They'd need a lot of people for that, but it is possible. Alice is pretty popular. He, the, old, the, old, uh, the old man shakes his head. Uh, they've always been talking about how the Federation would come back and try and finish what they started, but I, I always just thought that was rumors, but... Maybe that's what's going on here. Maybe this whole plague was started by them. The uh, South will rise again, says. <laughs> Do you have any samples of any of the... Uh, are, are there any samples left from the infected I- individuals? He, he shakes his head. No, no. They, like I said, they burnt all of the bodies. Like, turned them into... You know, crisped them. Just absolutely destroyed all traces. And the, 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 the Primrose woman, the, the Federation woman, she... She was uh, she was doing studies on the uh, on the bodies. She was you know looking for like she was taking samples, but when she was finished, they'd just come and burn everything. She uh, mm-hmm. she warned us, you know, like when we were when they were leaving, she warned us not to trust the not to trust ways. Of course, I don't think I know why. <laughs> There's no one left to her wise to treat. And I don't know, but. And then they just all left. Hmm. Mm. Speaking of which, we should do the same if we're going to catch up. You're right. Understood. Yeah. The uh, he 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 uh, points down the river and says, "Down there, down uh, down the way, a few miles. There's a village. I, I I don't know if that was where Weiss was going, but I I'd, I'd bet on it. Very well. You'll want to stand back." All right. he, he 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 runs backwards. Yeah, an old old man runs, so it's a little little yeah. tawdry, But like, yeah. He, he, well, he's he's, he's going to be getting a tailwind because uh, pretty much upon saying that, throttles up the engines. Okay. Uh, so uh, at that, the, the uh, admiral shouts, uh, "Basic, bur- um, basic burn treatment," at the guy. Um, it's like <laughs> for your wounded, and then uh, hops on. Uh, well, you know, cold water, chlorstex, uh, and, you know, um, burn ointments, yeah. um, and it, then... Yeah, the burn I'm area just they can actually hear over the engines. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, like, largely useless, but, like, yeah, you, you shout it, and, like, hopefully someone heard. Yeah. Um, and then the, uh, the, 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 you know, uh, plane, your, your chopper takes off and starts, uh, heading down the, uh, down the, down the stream. And, uh, actually, you know, that's probably a good place to stop for right now, just because it's a good break point. Yeah. Uh, So we'll catch you guys in, uh, in just a little bit.